didn't matter which of the two of us was doing better or worse or going ahead or not. It didn't matter. We were equal partners. When we came into the house, we were both equal partners parenting our kids. And uh, that was a commitment we made to each other when we got married. And what was more remarkable is his family also felt that way, which is very unusual. So I must say I got the luck of the draw here. His family said, you know, we ought to let Indra do whatever she wants to do. She needs to soar, let us soar. We'll support you guys. Don't worry about it. And even today, many of his old uncles and aunts would call and say, how's Indra doing? I've just finished chapter four of the book. I'm now in chapter five. They send comments and questions. So it's very uh, important that you marry the right person because typically you end up getting married to somebody who doesn't want you to work or expects you to play a different role at home. It's not possible. If you want to soar, if you really want to have a career that moves ahead, you've got to have support at home. You've got to have less pressure at home. And you've got to have clear ground rules with your spouse as to equality in the marriage. I mean, you've got to support your spouse too at times. Don't get me wrong. There are times when he's gone for six months at a time when he was taking care of his father. I said, go. That's important. I'll take care of the household. Don't worry about it. I gave him no pressure. So I think you've got to have that understanding. And you've got to approach it with equality. Very important. And then families have to commit to not giving you any added grief, especially in the Indian environment. 